Azimio leader Raila Odinga has continued to criticize the status meeting between President William Bruto and Chief Justice Martha Kome. A meeting that was meant to iron out differences between the two branches of government. Capture of independent institutions by a corrupt executive is what drove Kenya to war in 2007-2008. A repeat exercise seems to be underway and the results might not be different. Speaking at a press conference, Raila claims that Trudeau's intention is to complete the capture of the branches of government by the executive by taking over the judiciary. Mr. Ruto is looking to set up a user-friendly judiciary full of people with questionable paths and limited capacity. And unfortunately, the Chief Justice is gladly smiling along and playing the ball. He claims that one of Stato's agendas is to create vacancies for five additional high court judges and 11 court of appeal judges. Two of the slots, according to Raila, will be used by Ruto to appoint Chibukati and his predecessor at IEBC, Isaac Hassan, as court of appeal judges. Later on, Chibukati will rise to chief justice before the 2027 general election. The five high court judges and two court of appeal judges will be for Mr. Ruto to forward to the JSC. And he floated the names. Immediate former IBC chairman, Mr. Fula Chebukati, and former IBC chairman, Ahmed Isaac Hassan, are to be appointed as court of appeal judges with Chebukati being later being elevated as the chief justice before the 2027 general elections. Raila has further questioned National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula's move to file a notice of appeal at the Supreme Court challenging appeal court decision that declined to extend order allowing housing levy deductions saying the parliament is already captured by the executive. Ruto is engaged in maneuvers designed to mitigate the ability of the courts to act as a check against the executive power at a time he has already muzzled legislative power through the capture of parliament. And if you want to know that the National Assembly is captured, take note that the National Assembly Speaker, Moses Wetangula, filed a notice of appeal at the Supreme Court challenging the appeal court decision that declined to extend order allowing housing levy deductions. Majibu Kitsao for K24 TV, Nairobi.